Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Inc. In this video, we are going to learn GitHub Actions Secret. So, as you can see here, this is my repository with the name Sample Workflow. And now, in this session, we are going to learn GitHub Actions Workflow, uh, sorry, GitHub Actions Secrets. So, first of all, let's understand what is secrets. So, here, I mentioned a definition of secrets. So secrets are encrypted environment variables that you create in an organization, repository, or repository environment. And the secrets that you create are available to use in GitHub Actions workflow. Then why we use secrets? So most of the thing, uh, secrets are used for password. That means if you don't want to show your password or any data, then you can use secret. So how to use and how to create secret? Let me show you. First of all, naming of our secret. So you can see here, I mentioned some rules of naming of our secret. So first rule is secret names can only contain uh, alpha numeric character. That means uh, small a to z then caps a to z or 0 to 9 or underscores and uh, and uh, full stop but no spaces are not allowed here you can see here spaces are not allowed that means when we enter our secret name then we cannot use space okay then second rule is secret name must not start with the github underscore then see Third is secret names must not start with a number. Then secret names are not case sensitive. And last is secret names must be unique at the level they are created. Okay, so that's the some rules of naming of our secrets. Then next is how to create encrypted secret for a repository. So you can see the steps. So first of all, to create a secret for a personal account repository, then you must be the repository owner. Or to create secret for an organization repository, you must have admin access. Okay. So how to create? So the first step is on github.com, navigate the main page of the repository. That means go to your repository. Then second step is then under your repository, go to the settings. Then in third step is in the sidebar, there is a secret option. So select secret and click on actions. Then fourth step is click on new repository secret. Then in name in, uh, input box, enter your secret name. And after that, enter your secret in your value box and then add secret. That's it. So here I mentioned example of how to use our secret in our workflow. So that's our workflow. So you can see the steps. So step, then name, then run. And here you can see example command. Here I mention, sorry, here I use this environment variable. And in an environment variable, here you can see, I mentioned my secret. So how to declare here secrets dot add our secret name, right? Then, here I use this environment variable secret token. Here you can see. So that's some example of how to use secret in our workflow. Okay. So first of all, let's create our secret. So how to create? Let me show you. So first of all, go to your repository. So you can see this is our repository with the name sample workflow. Now then second step is go to the settings. So you can see the settings. So I'm going to the settings. Okay. Then in sidebar, I'm going to scroll down. You can see all the secrets option in security. So click on drop down and go to the actions. And here, click on new repository secret. Okay. Then enter your secret name so my secret name is secret secrets underscore 
look. And for that, in value box, enter your value. So here I'm going to enter. DevOps kit and then I'm going to add secret. Okay, it's done. Okay, scroll down. So this is my latest secret. You can see updated now. And that's nine minute ago. So I'm going to remove this nine nine minute ago. Okay, so now we have only one secret with the name secrets token. And if you want to update it, then you can update and add values. Okay, now our secret is created. Okay, now, now how to use this secret in your repository, right? So firstly, go to the code. And now we are going to use this secret in our repository. So how to use so let's go to the visual studio code here and i'm going to open this my default environment file and if you want to create a separate uh workflow for your secret or for your github action secrets then you can create a special workflow but here i'm going to use this default environment uh, workflow so here first of all in steps, I'm going to add one more name tag, name for pasting secrets. Okay. Then, after that, run tag. Column and then five, enter. Double space. Now, here I'm going to print my secret. So, here I'm going to enter echo. Then, here, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to create one more environment variable here. To this my step, right? So, for that, env colon and my environment variable will be my environment variable will be DevOps, okay, and DevOps, then colon, then dollar, and in curly bracket, I'm going to enter secrets dot, then your secret name. So my secret name is secrets underscore token right secrets underscore token okay okay that's it now i'm going to use this environment variable here to print echo double quote dollar and devops okay so now i'm going to save this file and now let's push this code into our repository. So open new terminal and enter your commands. Git init. Git add dot. Then git commit hyphen m and in double quote enter your commit so commit will be secrets then git 
خش Okay, it's done. Now go to the actions and let's check. So here is our default environment variable. So let's check. So job is succeed. You can say status is success. And here is our step testing secrets. So you can see our secret is in star. That means you can see here the print DevOps, right? And in environment, there is no any value, and here also there is no any value. That means it's a secret. So you can see here. We cannot show our secret. So that's the secrets. Then let me show another example. So first of all, here in step, Let me show another example. First of all, if condition, then here. Double quote. So our secret name is here in this DevOps environment variable. So I'm going to use this environment variable here, DevOps. After that, equals to equals to okay. So in our secret, the value is, okay, sorry, now I can't see my value, okay. So in my DevOps, in my this secret, secret token, the value is DevOps hint, right? DevOps hint. Then, If in my secret there is a value DevOps C, then it will print for our secret. So now the meaning is if in our this in our this secret that means DevOps is a variable and our secret name is secret token secrets token. So in secrets token, if there is a value DevOps hint, then it will print got our secret. If there is no any value in our in that means there is no in this value box. Uh, DevOps scene that means that got our secret will not print. Okay, so let's check. So, first of all, save the file and let's open a new terminal and let's check. So, as you know, the command get init get commit hyphen m commit. Into your commit, so my commit will be it's print. Sorry, git git dot and after that commit so commit so 
open mind. Now we push. Okay, it's done. Now go to the actions. Here is our workflow. You can see the process state is, is progress. So it's success. So let's check. And here is our step, testing secrets. You can see oh, got our secret. That means That means that step is true. That means in our secret, there is a value DevOps in, right? So that's the secrets. Okay. So that's the GitHub Actions secrets. So thank you for watching our video. You I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps engine.